The Bible says here in verse 3, But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And the first thing I want to say is, you know, salvation truly is simple, isn't it? Salvation truly is simple. And what do I mean by that? Because you might be thinking, well, Victor, if salvation is so simple, why are you spending hours and hours and sermon upon sermon explaining salvation if it's so simple? And, you know, you might be thinking, well, you know, if salvation is so simple, then why is it so complex? And, you know, uh, on uh, Thursday night, uh, Kevin and I met up with a guy from the Sunshine Coast named Daniel. And we had dinner together um, just to meet up, have some fellowship. And, you know, we were talking over dinner and we, we were talking about the salvation plan. Not the plan of salvation, but the salvation plan in the sense, you know, what Jesus had to do. Right? The, the death, the life. You know, what did the death mean? You know, was it, was, there was a physical, uh, was there a spiritual death? Um, you know, the, the burial, why did the body need to be buried? Uh, what the blood meant, the blood atonement, you know, was it sprinkled on the mercy seat in heaven? Was there a mercy seat in heaven? Or just, just all these things. Uh, even talking about the resurrection and the, and, and the importance of the resurrection. And, you know, when you think about what Jesus had to do in order to save us, it does start to get complex. But why does the Bible say that it's the simplicity in Christ, that, that the gospel is simple? Well, let me give you an analogy. You know, let's say you need to fix your car, right? And trying to figure out how to, how to fix your car, that gets pretty complicated, doesn't it? Because you need to know how the car works and all the different parts and equipment you would need. But how easy, it is it, how easy is it if you can just give your car to a mechanic and then your mechanic just takes care of it? So it, even though a car can become very complex, putting your faith, and using the analogy, putting your faith in a mechanic and letting the mechanic take care of everything and just give you back a new and working car or a fixed car, it's very simple, isn't it? Because it takes that complexity off you and it puts it on the mechanic that is fixing the car for you. And that's why salvation is so simple. Even though Jesus had to go through a lot, he had to fulfill all the scriptures and that gets quite complex. When we hand it all over to him, when we put our faith in him, it's very simple. Because it's like somebody saying, you know, I'm going to take care of that. So let's say you give your car to the mechanic and he's going to take care of it, he's going to fix your car for you. Now, after your car is fixed, if you wanted to then go and understand what the mechanic actually did to fix that car, that takes a bit more work, doesn't it? It takes a bit more understanding. And that's why when we preach about salvation and we discuss salvation, it does get really complex. But do we need to know all this in order to be saved? No, we just need to put our faith in the quote-unquote uh, mechanic. So salvation is, is truly simple because it's just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.